It's a very unusual word. It's kind of a weird word. I mean, which of us walks around saying, you know, I would need some lodging next week? I mean, it's a stupid word, right? But it worked. Why? Because the people who expressly didn't want to stay at a hotel were picking a more unusual word. For a long time, I didn't think I could be a public speaker because I thought that public speakers had to memorize what they were doing and they had to know a lot of things and there just had to be somebody I wasn't and the truth is that I started to realize that what it's about is it's about you it's not about me it's about what you need it's about the knowledge that you need and so I try and help you with what I think you don't know and every audience is different so I love it when you ask questions of me I love it when I can tell what it is that's working and not working and it's almost impossible for them to break into the rankings with the word hotel because there's a zillion hotels, whereas there might only be three bed and breakfasts in all of Philadelphia, right? And so lodging might get them there, right? And so you have, to un you have to pick the word that's perfect for what you do. I don't know that anybody knows what you have to do to excel at Internet marketing. And the reason, the reason I say that is because I'm allegedly an expert in internet marketing and I know I don't know anything. And that's actually the secret, is to act like you don't know anything. And the reason I say that is that if you ever did figure out everything that you needed to know about internet marketing, just wait 10 minutes and it'll change. And so the thing you really need is a lot of curiosity. You need to understand that internet marketing is more about marketing than about the internet. Because knowledge doesn't get us anywhere. Nobody comes to an event, and you certainly don't, to just say, oh boy, I really need to learn something today. Instead, you're looking for something you can put into action. You want to know what can you take back to work and do differently. Is that the real way to focus on this is not to just constantly scratch your head about what is it that Google's looking for, how can we feed the beast? You want to know how will my life change? How will I be more successful? How is my career going to take off? How is my company going to succeed? That's what you want to know. You want to know all of those things. Instead, the thing to be thinking of is how can we create really, really high quality content, content that's better than the other people that we're up against in the search results. And so it's not just about me telling you, hey, here's what you should do. I have to help you figure out how you're going to do it. Over time, that's going to work not only with Google, but it's going to cause more searchers to come back to your site and more people to buy. I have to help you to understand how to take that first step, how to overcome the fear, how to get past the worries, how to, how to figure out how you're going to get past all these other people that you work with that maybe don't want to do the same thing that you now know is important. And that's what really makes it fun for me. And so every time I stand up in front of an audience, it's different. And so your audience will be different from someone else's, but I want to make sure that you walk out of there knowing what to do and inspired to do it.